one. It's me, Rachel from St Lawrence Church in Hatfield. Um, I'm here to do this week's collective worship video, but I think I found myself stuck in this really dark cave. I got put down here, and it's a bit scary, really. Um, Burger's here with me too. Um, so I guess, I guess we'll just get on with with collective worship. So I've 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 got my candle here. Maybe that'll help a little bit. Should we turn it on? Ooh, well, that's a bit better. Look, we've got a bit more light. So. I wonder how your week has been. Did you write some letters to people? Did you try to encourage others? Today, because I'm here in this in this cave, I've been I've been thinking a little bit about a guy in the Bible called Jeremiah. Have you heard of him? Maybe not. But Jeremiah was a prophet. He was sent by God to give people really important messages. And the messages that Jeremiah gave to people were all quite bad messages, bad news. Things weren't going well and God wasn't happy about it. And people didn't like to hear those messages. I guess we don't really like to hear bad news either, do we? We probably didn't like to hear that the schools were going to shut. That was a bit bad. And I guess we'll be really excited when we hear that the schools are opening again. Maybe you might get some bad news that you don't want to hear about your family members. But anyway, they, they, they took Jeremiah and they locked him in a dungeon. That wasn't very nice. But then they thought, a dungeon with no windows. It's a bit like this cave that I'm in. That wasn't bad enough. So they took Jeremiah out. And you know what they put him in? They put him down a well! A well! I know! They put him down a well. A dried up well. With mud, and it was just mud at the bottom. And they dropped him down. Down into the bottom of the well. And Jeremiah sat and sank into the mud. And he just sat there because there was nothing he could do. He was sad. And in the dark. But luckily, that's not the end of Jeremiah's story. Because some people went, and this isn't fair, this isn't right. Jeremiah will die in the bottom of this well. Let's go and get him. And so they did. Sometimes we might find ourselves in dark places on our own. Other people be a little bit like this light and come into our dark places and they can bring light and they can help us see things for what they are and they can help us get out of that circumstance they can help us get back on our feet oh it really is a bit dark and scary in this cave now i hope someone comes to find me like the friends jeremiah had Hello. Hello. Oh, hello. hello. Hello, boys. How are you? Did you come to find me? Yes. Did you think I was lost? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. What have you brought with you? We brought lights. You brought lights? So you can see. <gasps> oh, thank you. That's really kind. Light right, helps when we're in the darkness, doesn't it? Yeah. What does light do? It helps you see. So, oh, my my two questions for collective worship are number one, does light always win over darkness? Yes. Yeah, that's a question for at home. Does good always win over evil? Does light always win over darkness? And number two, does it help when we're in dark and scary times to have friends with us? Because you know what, I feel better now that you're here. Do you, when we're scared, is it better when there's people around us to, and with us? Yeah. Yeah. Have a think about that. So I've got two activities that you could try out this week. 
and have some fun at home um, with light and darkness. And what's an activity that we like to do, boys? We like to have a night time party. Where is your lights? What do we do? We turn all the lights off and we get all of our torches and our lights and our coloured things and our, and our pretend candles. Yeah. That's and fantastic. Then we use it to see how light can overcome darkness. Yeah. And the second thing that you could do this week in response to collective worship is to maybe make um, some shadow puppets. So get a torch, make um, the outlines of the characters from the story of Jeremiah. So maybe Jeremiah as well and Jeremiah's friends and, and make a shadow puppet play. That's the end of collective worship today and I'm really glad that my friends have come to find me. And I hope that you've got some friends who can help you through this hard time, this dark time. If not, God is there with you and he'll help you through. He was there at the bottom of the well with Jeremiah. And I'm sure that Jeremiah was praying and talking to God then. So feel free to pray and talk to God. We're going to pray and then we'll turn out our candle on our collective worship. Father God, thank you that light overcomes the darkness. Thank you that good overcomes evil and that you are with us whatever darkness we're in, that you can be our friend. Amen. Bye. 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 Hi.